ब्रॉड टू यू बाय एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स इन दिस वीडियो टुडे आई वांट टू टॉक टू यू ऑल अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ एग फ्रीजिंग इन योर थर्टीज सो एग फ्रीजिंग और ओसाइट क्रायो प्रिजर्वेशन इज अ टेक्निक व्हिच अलाउज वुमेन टू प्रिजर्व देयर फर्टिलिटी एट अ यंगर एज एंड डिले देयर चाइल्ड बेरिंग this concept is mostly applicable to women who are in their uh, 30s or in their you know late 30s uh, who want to postpone their pregnancy for uh, reasons like social reasons career reasons or there is some time uh, a medical reason like some kind of uh, cancer which uh, has to be treated and the girl has to undergo chemotherapy so uh, these are the situations when we undergo uh, when when girls undergo egg freezing and uh, this basically involves stimulating uh, the ovaries and producing multiple eggs and taking them out through a procedure called as egg retrieval and then freezing these eggs in liquid nitrogen this freezing can be done for uh, a period which could be 5 years or 10 years or even in uh, depending on the reason why it has been frozen and the success rate uh, success rate means the uh, the chances that the eggs will survive the freezing process is around 80 to 90%. So this is about the egg preservation. Now why why should it be done when the girl is in the 30s? So age has a very important and crucial role in the woman's fertility. Now as a, a girl is born she is born with a fixed number of eggs and these eggs keep on declining as she ages and uh, the decline becomes much more sharper and rapid when she crosses 31 years of age so now by this i mean to say that the number of eggs which are present in the ovaries as well as the quality of the eggs which are there at uh, in the late 30s is inferior to what it was in the early 30s so when we uh, take out the eggs we might get lesser number of eggs or we might get poor quality of eggs and this could result in uh, miscarriages or having uh, difficulty in conceiving later on so that is why it is important to freeze the eggs when the woman is younger so that we get more number of eggs according to the data what we have it is suggest it, it says that the number of eggs which are required to give a pregnancy rate of around 70 to 80% happens to be around 20 mature eggs in somebody who is less than 38 years of age as the age increases we might need around 25 to 30 eggs but the success rate drops to success rate of having a live birth drops to about 65 to 70% so this is the importance of freezing the eggs in the 30s now how does this process take place for egg freezing we basically have two phases the first phase being stimulation the second phase being retrieval and freezing so in the stimulation phase uh, we do couple of tests to check the egg reserve scans are done to see the egg reserve again and then injections are started from the day 2 of periods to stimulate the uh, ovaries and in between uh, other scans and blood tests are done to check the response now at the end of 8 to 10 days when we feel that the ovaries have been stimulated enough we do the procedure of oocyte retrieval and this is done after giving a special injection called the trigger injection 34 hours before the procedure now during this uh, oocyte retrieval there is a needle which goes in the vagina and it takes out the eggs from the ovaries so this is done under general anesthesia and this takes around 10 to 15 minutes once the eggs are retrieved the maturity is checked inside the lab under microscope and all the mature eggs are frozen in liquid nitrogen so uh, this is basically freezing part and later on when the lady or when the girl is ready for, to have a baby and when they are sure of their partner they can uh, uh, undergo the procedure of fertilization using ivf wherein the eggs are again thawed and then they are fertilized and embryos are formed and then this can be transferred inside the uterus to have a healthy pregnancy now the success of having a live but as i said before is around uh, 70 to 80% if we get good number of eggs but it would also depend on couple of other factors like the partner's semen parameters the health of the uterus as well as the age later when they plan for a pregnancy so this is all about oocyte freezing if you if any of you have been thinking of undergoing this procedure it is worth getting yourself checked and meet your fertility specialist to know more in detail